hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you are new here click to like subscribe and turn on post notifications because you're going to see a lot more from me so you guys um it's already been a year i started this channel in february of 2023 and it's already been a year and we're almost at 200 subscribers i just don't think anybody that has been here from day one it's like almost like an appreciation post slash what i'm getting into but I really just appreciate everybody from being here from the beginning to now and those that have joined along the way i really appreciate everybody thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for watching my videos i really appreciate it so as i was pondering over everything i was just like you know a lot of people have joined and a lot of people just joined this year a lot of people joined a lot um a lot of time like after i already made my first video which was a get to know me video and I just felt like i'm not the same person that i was then and i owe it to you guys to you know reintroduce myself as a brand new person and you know hope that the bond <laughs> is stronger because you now know me better because i think a lot of people are living in that you know i when i watched that video back and i heard my voice i was like <laughs> about who i am so i'm being a get to know me tag God have mercy upon us. <laughs> Whose voice is this high? Because can't be mine. Like, I was so like all these. I was like, hi guys, welcome in my new channel. Then I was a serious three miles of ago because tell me why I was sound like a chickmunk. Huh? <laughs> well, this is my real self. All the <laughs> charade, everything has, has gone apart as my real self. So basically, this is I get to know me vlog once again. I'm just gonna show you guys like answering some questions that I found, and also answering some questions that were in that original video, and just you know giving an updated answer to it. I just feel like you guys would enjoy the video and you know get to know me, and we can just like you know relate better from here. So let's just get right into it. <laughs> So the first question is, what's your name? Well, <laughs> during this duration of a year, I don't think there was any period that I just felt, let me change my name. So my name still remains Olumide Ade. And honestly, I don't really, I feel like there's lots of mystery behind my name because Olumide is actually um, in Yoruba, is mostly given to guys. So I feel like it's very, very unique. Whenever I hear Lumi, it's always from Pelumi or something like that. But I had never seen any other girl that is named Lumi. And you know, if I really didn't like it because everybody was asking, like, ah, oh, uh, oh, 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 this gist. But then I just found like it's kind of unique. It's actually kind of nice. So I'm happy with it. Then the next question is, what is your favorite hobby? <laughs> I'm sure my previous video was giving some kind bougie answer like, I like to read. I like to travel <laughs> that is for the rich <laughs> i'm here and i'm giving you my real face <laughs> i like watching you too <laughs> that's something i do without thinking about and i think when i say i like watching youtube i don't mean like you know every part of youtube and i i watch like diverse things good and fine but not like I watch majorly like series, just all you know, these videos, all these like shorts, different things. I just like watching YouTube. And that's why I just felt like, you know, it'd be nice to be one of the people that are being watched on YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah, I like watching YouTube. <laughs> Next question What's my favorite TV show? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I know a lot of people are going to be saying, oh my god, yeah, I didn't know this Korea something too. But, you know, I know last time I said something like Far Away or something like that. And yeah, I think that was just a season of my life because I just I just watched with my friends like the day before I filmed that video. So I was really, really excited about it. But right now, I would say that something that I really, really watch judiciously right now is Running Man. I don't know if anybody knows it. And I have really been a fanatic for Korean TV shows. Not a um, Korean K-drama. Never, not, not, not K drama rather, but I mean like their TV shows. 
like i mean like running man and um, what they call it knowing bros those kind of things i like running man running man is really really funny and i don't i, I think it's really underrated in a lot of places kind of people look at kjam and like oh my god oh my god oh my god but me i'm like really really into their tv shows anywho the next question what is your personality type i wrote down this question because <laughs> i just really recently just is, did a, a test for it because i found everybody was like actually what's your personality type what's your personality type and honestly i'm not into all that gist but then i just felt like you know what's the having trying it's not like i see all these stars and moons kind of gist it's just personality type so <laughs> i went ahead and tried it and i can't remember <laughs> what i was <laughs> so i have to check i'll call it okay so from the test i did i got that i was an architect i n t j t i think something like that so basically they're trying to tell me that i'm introvert which is sort of true and sort of not true at the same time i think i gradually became an introvert because of the fact that i'm not talking to as much people as i normally would and you know just growing up you kind of um your like the amount of food around you kind of reduce so when i was in school i could miss people and i could just greet people and, and, and like you know just be around people and vibe but when you're outside of school it's kind of harder to just you know form those kind of gatherings like you know they say 20 friends can't play together for 20 years so it's really really hard so that, i think that's why i became more of an introvert but i'm still extroverted don't you guys think <laughs> next question how do I spend my weekends and holidays? Um, right now, I don't really have weekends or holidays. That's a good thing about being in school. You have times where you feel like, okay, I am reading during this time. You have times where I feel like, can we take a break this time? When you enter your adult phase, every day feels like work. Every day, just waking up and then starting just your day like that just feels like work. It's not like weekends are just extra days to work basically that's the definition it's not no resting time yeah so that's just it i just spent my weekends working i think i'm even more stressed on weekends because i have to anticipate monday so it's quite a lot yeah next question where am i from i'm from Ikiti state yeah i'm from Ikiti state <laughs> where and um, what are your best habits Mm, my best habit is i think the fact that i stand up fast and i forgive ah jesus i forgive and before i think that it was a bad thing because i i forget so easily i i forgive i forget faster than i forgive like i don't remember what you exactly did but i remember that you did something that i'm angry with you about so i forgive then i forget i forget then i forgive sorry i'm confusing you guys i forget then i forgive it's not easy i won't say it's easy for everybody but me it's something that just comes naturally to me but i think a lot of people over like use that part of my life like you know they keep on offending me they keep on giving me reasons to be angry so it's now really really hard to just forget yeah but that's one of my best qualities and the fact that i always stand up like as in if anything happens I can cry for a day or two, but I'm not someone that ever just sit down in my slums and then remain there. Yeah, I also stand up. And I just give God all the glory for that. So, what is my religion? Um, I'm a Christian. And I think last time I said I'm a Christian and I'm growing. But I think right now I am a Christian and I am sowing. Like, <sighs> I honestly can't imagine my life without God. And I'm really, really appreciative of me knowing his existence. So I'm really, really like excited about my journey with him. So yeah, I'm a Christian. Next question. How do you start your day? Um, I start my day with morning prayers. So in my house, we have like, you know, we gather together, we do open heavens. Open heaven is a book um, devotional by Pastor Iya Adibuye. There are a lot of different churches used, and I think it's really, really nice. It always comes in different directions, nothing is ever repeated, and even if it's repeated, it should drive a point that might be deeper or even lighter than the previous. So, yeah. 
um next question do you have any pets ah this kind of question that me i like because me i'm an animal person i really like animals honestly i wanted to be a vet if i was not an architect i wanted to be a vet i really like animals so we always have plenty of dogs although i'm trying to convince everybody let's get a cat but if you were born in nigeria you would know that everybody thinks that cats is doing some kind of witchcraft behavior and i don't know why we're punishing such animals because i know that uh, so it's not what this happened so i don't know why we're making all, all these cats to be we're making them victims so why are we doing this ourselves anywho um no wishes and wizards can come against me in jesus name so i have two dogs and one's name is bright one's name is shade so i really like two of them yeah one is mad one is all right so yeah so two dogs i have the next question are you reading anything interesting right now i honestly love this question because i wanted to share this book it's actually for my sister and i just share my sisters all of them i feel like you know they have some they always have like things that are impactful to see and there are a lot of things i can learn from each of them like financially personality wise moral wise i really just i'm very very appreciative of the fact that i came after them because like they are doing an amazing job so i found this in my sister's room and i just picked it up to read for myself and i can't even explain how my life has just been going like better there's a lot of wisdom in my life right now and i didn't have it before and i thought i had wisdom i was just you know bringing some stuff out of my head thinking that was wisdom but honestly like open your mind open your mind and talk to people that you know have sense <laughs> and you'll see that there's a lot more out there than you imagine so this book is called don't settle for safe hey i don't really think you guys can see it well but it's called don't settle for safe it's by sarah jakes roberts and i think if you know her very well because her picture is over here that's td jake's daughter and my dear this book when i first saw it i was just thinking um they're probably going to be talking about marriage and me all these books about marriage i feel like everybody's marriage is a different equation so all these books about marriage is like i i, I read some but then there are some i just feel like <laughs> calm down anywho that's what i'm currently reading and i find it very very nice i read whenever i have time if i'm just you know taking a break i'll just catch up on it so that's what i'm reading right now so the next question is relationship status so um i'm currently single yeah i'm currently like yeah just finding out life yeah i'm there yeah and i think I, it's taken me a long time to be okay but i'm okay <laughs> i'm okay i'm good i'm good yeah so that's the update for that then the last question is my worst fear you see i am i think when it comes to when people ask this question like what's your worst fear what's your worst fear i am always very very um let me say realistic there are some things that I don't, you know, allow my mind to wander and think about, so they will never be my worst fear. So the thing that I think that, you know, my mind has, maybe I've also experienced too, that's my mind can factualize it, is being laughed at. If anybody, if anybody from my university is watching this, they'll probably be like, oh, I'm the comedian you, because I always like cracking jokes. That's my extroverted life. <laughs> I like cracking jokes. I like making people happy. I like, like, making people's day a little better. But that feeling of being laughed at uh not when you're laughing with people being laughed at is something i dread it's something that i do not wish for anybody it's something that i truly truly battle with i truly try and like you know push it aside and not think too much about it but it hurts me i don't really like it so that's something that i really feel like i realize why public speaking might not be my best thing i had to even take a course for it because it was actually something that i was facing with but then you know god's helping me and that's just it so i've come to the end of this q and a i don't know if you guys have any other questions for me i'm sure you guys have like a lot more questions because i know it's just scratching the surface but you know you get to know more about me as we go further into the video but i felt like these are some questions that are like surface level 
very very you know calm very very nice and very very simple basically and doesn't involve too many emotions <laughs> so yeah that's all for today's video um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for we're already at like 184 85 subscribers and i'm just like I'm, I'm honestly so happy for the amount of effort that i have put last year and the amount of effort that i'm putting this year honestly it's really amazing and i'm really grateful so thank you so much for watching have a nice day don't forget it see it's always at the end that english has to catch me english has to say that you have been speaking too much of me you're disrespectful you don't even know my name anywho <laughs> please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on post notifications because that's a lot more from me so bye guys